Oh, where the hell did this guy come from? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty! I'm surrounded. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to The Wild Eight. I'm your host, the Arctic Survival Expert. Notice, Falcon. Uh, this right here is a game you are probably familiar with if you caught my video on this last year. It was the press demo version of the game, Den. Today we're checking out the Early Access version, which should be hitting Steam in about a day or two after you see this video. Uh, information down below will tell you when to pick this up, in case you are interested in doing so for yourself. Now, in case you are unfamiliar with the Wild Dade, what this is all about, I would kind of call this a top-down, multiplayer-oriented version of The Long Dark. Now, what's really cool about this is that, as you can see over here, there's a, a plane crash, right? I mean, I'm not saying that plane crashes are cool. I mean, maybe there's nobody in there. Maybe it's like a drone flying and then it crashes and it's like, it makes a big explosion. It's kind of like, oh man, the explosion was kind of cool. Then I think it's fine, but if people are in there, it's obviously not cool. Let me just clear that up right now, because I know a lot of you. I know a lot of you. What are you What are you propagating here, Falcon? The death of people? No, I'm not propagating the death of people. Uh, what's really cool about the multiplayer focus is that when um, you play with other people, they actually, you all get to choose like a different character from that plane crash itself, and all of them have different types of skills, so you can help each other out, and each one has like their own thing that they focus on, so it's kind of cool in that regard. But, since I have no friends, I'm going to be playing here by myself. Yeah, I know what I just said. I'll be playing here by myself. Yeah, you can spin that however you want to, because it's, you know, probably true. And I think Robin is going to be the selected one here for today. Robin is a young athlete who specializes in the biathlon, which makes him the fastest and most agile survivor and gives him a bonus to range attacks. Now, I haven't really messed around with range attacks just yet. I've been mostly keeping it to melee, so because of that, Cole could be a little bit better. But I do like the idea of Robin just being faster. When you gotta run, you might need Robin, that's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna pick Robin over here with no Batman, let's go ahead and start. Alrighty, so here we go. Tutorial, build a shelter. Thank God I'm still in one piece. Things could have gone a whole lot worse. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, when you think about it, if you're in a plane crash, things are pretty worse as it is, but at least you're still alive. If you're allowed to survive a plane crash, then you know, yes, things could have gone a lot worse, obviously. So right now, we're going to go ahead and build a shelter. So before we run off and start following the tutorial and doing the questing, I would actually advise you not to do that. First and foremost, the big main thing here is going to be just gathering your resources. You actually can survive down the line. Because if you take off as soon as you can to start doing your questing, you're going to feel yourself struggling, which is no good. So right now we have to build a workshop. So, very much like uh, many other survival games, you're going to have to go ahead and start punching down a tree. You know what? I, I feel like this happens way too often in like survival games where what you do is you have to like, you know, basically get enough materials to build your first axe. So you always find yourself punching down trees. Now, I'm no creative genius myself, I can't do the work of game developers, but if I ever could, I'll tell you right now, what I would do is it, I'd make it convenient so you always happen to find a shitty little axe somewhere that you could use to collect wood. Because I find this right here to be a little bit game, well not game breaking, but like it kind of removes you from the immersion, like can you imagine yourself punching on a tree for wood? I mean, not even just wood, what about stone? You're punching down a boulder. What are you, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 5 or what? Anyway, at the moment we have enough. No, no, we don't have enough. I got a little bit too um, carried away with the wood collecting there, which is still fine. We need to collect this anyway, but still. Anyway, I would always make it so you always find an axe somewhere. Just to kind of get you started. Because otherwise, you know, you're over here punching down stones and boulders, you know? I'm not really feeling that too much. It's a game, though, I understand, you know. Stop complaining, Falcon. It's a game. Yeah, you're right about that, sure. Uh, let me collect a bit more stone here, because we'll need it for our first couple of tools. We have to build ourselves a stone axe and a pickaxe, if I'm right. So, stone axe. Craft us now, and pickaxe, craft us now. Very cool. So now we have both of them, we want to go ahead and equip them, so we'll do stone axe over here, and pickaxe over here. And we're doing this because if we hit Z, we can switch between tools and weapons on the fly. So at the moment, now that we have this done, I want to collect a bit more wood and a bit more stone, because I want to upgrade my workshop and my tent. Now, something you should keep in mind, you could actually take these along with you, it is getting very cold. Oh boy, we need a campfire pretty soon. Let's just build that now. What's up? Oh, oh no, not enough stone. Uh-oh. Don't, don't die already, Falcon. You just barely started the goddamn game. This you right here. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, we're fine now. Craft a stick and make a torch. So, 
Sticks very easy to make, and then you make a torch by dragging this into the fire, and boom, you got yourself a torch. How you doing over there, Mr. Bunny? Is hanging out? Oh, don't you worry. Once they get traps and proper weapons, I'm gonna hunt you down for your delicious meat. Uh, check out the smoke site. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, this wants me to go check out the rest of the crash, which is not a good idea right now, because first and foremost, we're starving. Let me have this canned food here for one. But yeah, more importantly, we're not gonna rush over there right now. We want to do a little bit more leveling of our supplies because we will indeed need them. So, what I'm gonna do here is just hang out first and foremost. We might even stay here overnight. Now, going back to the workshop and the shelter, you can actually carry those with you when you travel, and you should. Um, whenever you die in this game, you actually drop the majority of items you have, and you lose any sort of skill-based progress, so there's a penalty for dying. Um, but the items will indeed drop wherever you die, so as long as you get back, you can pick them back up. But whatever skill you've actually leveled up will indeed be lost, and I'll show you more about the skills here pretty soon. But right now, I just want a lot of this, because we have to upgrade the shelter once and the workshop once. And we also want to go ahead and make ourselves some wooden equipment for a bit, a bit better um, cold resistance going forward. Now, when it hits nighttime completely, it's going to get really, really cold. So at the moment, we can take advantage of the fact that it's not... Well, I mean, it's dark as hell, obviously, but... It's not like, you know, middle of the night cold just yet. So this should be fine. Let's see. What about... More stones, I'm going to say, as well. I'm surprised that fire is still burning. Now, on occasion, you'll run into blizzards. Whenever you run into a blizzard, you want to go into your shelter and hang out there for a while. And we'll talk about this here pretty soon. But for now, let's go over here and um, upgrade you. This requires a certain amount of upgrades. For the next level, we need 65 stone and 85 wood. We have the wood for it, but not the stone. But we're now we're looking for level two, uh, 3 at the moment. 2 should be fine. And over here, upgrade 20 and 20. Do that. Now, the skills that we've leveled up thus far by just moving around and collecting, you can level them right here. So far, we have... Gathering one point, so we'll go ahead and get the upgraded backpack, which now gives us one extra inventory slot. And this right here is what you end up losing if you indeed die. Um, these are the skills you lose, I meant. Now this fire over here, in case you can't make a fire yourself for whatever reason, you can actually chill by this little, um, crashed area and warm up that way in case you haven't, you know, figured stuff out, but, you know, you should be able to make a fire here really, really fast anyway. Mobility skill plus one, let's see, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, we need the armor as well. So, wooden shoes and wooden armor. Now, we're very low on wood, so before we travel, we're going to want to go ahead and equip or collect a bit more. Because our goal right now is going to be to try to get enough fireplaces from one area to the other one. So, we have, like, different, like, quote-unquote checkpoints. Like, they're not checkpoints per se, but um, if you could run from one area to another one and keep warm, it'll really make life a lot easier for yourself down the line. So, my stone axe is about to go down, too. I'd rather not use my other canned food. I'd rather save that, but we might have to use it because the alternative right now is going to be... Oh, I broke I broke my axe. Uh, the alternative is going to be to go out and look for mushrooms, which is fine. We're going to be surviving off of mushrooms for a while. But at the moment, I got bigger fish to fry, so we can do that here. So yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and... Nope, wrong one. I'll go ahead and just have one of the canned food for now. Now, mind you, we're almost ready to go. This is just enough wood that I wanted to have for campfires on the fly, in case we get stuck out there. Which we will. You're gonna get stuck out in the wilderness quite a bit. I mean, technically speaking, we're in the wilderness already, but you know what I'm saying. Away from this little crash site. So let's go over here and have this food now. And I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we got the equipment here. Got no weapons just yet. Can I make weapons? Let's find out. Um, I mean, we need bones. Sharpened bone and hand stone axe requires tendons. So yeah, we do have to kill a couple of animals before we make the upgrades first. We could set up a trap, though, for the rabbit. So let's go ahead and do one and two traps for now. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not used these just yet. I think I tested them out in the press demo, but that was, like, you know, last year. Recently, I haven't used it up. So let me pack up my workshop and let me also pack you up. And that'll be it. We are ready to go. We have to go find some mushrooms here really soon, or at least some other berries as well. And I would have loved to set one of these traps up for the rabbits now, but... I don't see any rabbits right now, oddly enough. Uh, we're about to hit like a... Oh, shit. Okay. No, don't fall down. We're, we're in a really weird spot. This is a really weird area. Let's go around. There's fall damage in the game as well. Oh, 
Damn it. Warmed? Alright, we have to make a campfire here. It's not a blizzard, but it's getting kind of cold. No, oh, a mushroom. Okay, this is actually not too bad. I mean, it's bad because there's not a lot of other mushrooms around, but we do want to collect this so we can actually start cooking some mushrooms here. So, let's collect this, and you cook this by just dragging it over here. No berries or nothing, huh? Damn, that sucks so bad. Alrighty, so how about... How you doing there, Mr. Elk? Now, I don't think the trap's gonna work for you because it's called a rabbit trap, so... <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work out for you too much. Let's just hang out here momentarily. How's our map? We have to go east, apparently, for the... the crash site. And it's 1 p.m., so we still have plenty of daytime ahead of us. Let's actually book it for now. I would love to start finding some mushrooms. Oh, rabbit! This could work, too. Um... So, apparently, I set this down and it automatically attracts the rat. Rabbit, don't run off. There it is. Automatically attracts the rabbit, allegedly. We'll see. Rabbit man. Oh! Rabbit. Should I chase you towards that? No. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, there you go. Get get closer. Get get closer, huh? There's a there's a there's a tasty little carrot there for you. Alright, I'm gonna treat you like your bug's money. How do you like that? Rabbits automatically attracted my ass. I am starving again. Thanks a lot, rabbits. Alright, luckily for me. Oh, you're still on. You're still lit. Oh man, our daytime's going down, which is no good. I really wanted to catch one of those goddamn rabbits. Let's have this momentarily. It's not going to do too much for us. I have that canned food still, so there's that. I really want to catch the rabbit, though, because I'm pretty sure this will give us a tendon that we need. What the fuck, dude? Look at this. It's going to be nighttime pretty soon. I'm trying to make sure I'm not running too far ahead when I'm going to run into, like, a wolf, too. Because wolves all over the place. Yeah. That ain't working. Now I have a, a rabbit trap here in the middle of nowhere, which sucks. I'd rather have this, like, nearby, like, a quote-unquote base. This is a really terrible spot. I just wanted to test it out. Oh, good, you're gonna go off on me now, too? Of course you would. Stupid rabbits. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna have to have this canned food here pretty soon. I'm, I'm really, like, you know, upset about the lack of uh, mushrooms that we're running into here. Like, normally I would have already, like, quite a few of them. I haven't seen many berries, either. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get the canned food ready. We're gonna have to digest this here, it does seem. Some Oh, there's a rabbit nearby! He's still goddamn nearby! Go, go in! Go get the trap, dude! No, don't run towards me, towards the trap! Yeah! <laughs> okay, finally it worked. Okay, cool. So it's only one trap per, huh? Okay. Let's come back. Oh, he doesn't drop the tendons, so I think we're gonna have to probably hunt some bigger game for that. More than likely the elk or the deer. Okay, well luckily though, at least we got this, which will... I'm pretty sure fill up our rabbit, or not a rabbit, it'll fill up our rabbit. It'll fill up our hunger a lot better than mushroom would. So, I'm gonna assume that's the case. Let's see how it does. Alrighty. Like how it looks like a... Your, your typical piece of um, chicken. Oh, that fills up quite well. Alrighty, very cool. Um, so it is nighttime, so we're gonna start freezing. We want to go to the east a bit more. Okay, so I think we have to go around this. Now, we're about to start entering wolf territory. Keep in mind, wolf territory is going to always be around that little um, quest area first, just to introduce you to the enemies. Um, so we need the torch for that, which we do have. Alrighty, I think we shall have to go for it now, because uh, my hunger is going down. Okay, I'm quite worried. You could scare off the wolves momentarily with your with your torch, but they're going to eventually adapt and say, like, fucking and come after you eventually. So, you can't scare them off momentarily. That's one of them right there. Okay, okay. You didn't spawn me, you didn't spawn me, you fucker, okay? Alright, yeah, I know you're a wolf. You probably have some better, like, you know, eyesight than I do as a human. But still, is that a mushroom? No, that's just a stone. We haven't run into a blizzard just yet, which is good. The blizzard's gonna be very, very annoying because it's gonna force you to go into your campsite, into your little shelter area, inside. And we'll talk more about the shelter here whenever the blizzard does hit, which is very annoying. I really hate the blizzard for more than one reason. Obviously, number one is to make it really cold, which is no good. But there's a bigger reason why I hate it, but we'll talk about that whenever it does happen. Oh, wait. Oh, is this like an underpass? It's an underpass. Oh, cool. 
Oh, oh god. I'm sorry. I thought that was a wolf that I just ran into. Okay. Um, keep your eyes out. Let me know if you see any mushrooms, by the way. Oh, what's that? That's an elk? That's an elk. Okay. Alright, so we're near the crash site, meaning we should be running into wolves here pretty soon. So you guys let me let me know if you see something. I should have come here. It's almost oh it's almost morning. Okay, very good. I think it's almost morning. Cause right now when it's nighttime, your um your cold decreases a lot faster. So here is our generator. We need this pretty soon, and we have some more mushrooms. Perfect. The generator seems to be working, it might come in handy later. It actually will come in handy. Let's warm up here momentarily. At least until it's um, daytime, cause we're about to run into that wolf that I talked about. We have this, we have the canned food, so we have like two bits of food that will fill us up quite well, and we're about to get one more once we go into our little destination here coming up. This should be fine. Alrighty, so because we might run into a wolf, it's time for the torch. Oh, mushroom! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need you. Rotate. Rotate. No, no, no. Don't, don't swing at the mushroom, just collect the mushroom. There you go. And rotate again. Thank you. Oh, you're starving again? Oh, dude. Let's just have the canned food then. Just because it'll free up a slot. And I think we're more than likely to run into more meat going down the line now that I have the traps. So. Um, surprised that wolf isn't here. I'm not, I mean, I'm not calling for him. I'd rather he not be here, but. You know, I'm just surprised he's not here. Alright, so generator into the. Um, station here. The map has been updated, and now we have to find out where the power lines go. This will be a food ration, which is kind of like another can of food. Oh, there's the wolf. <laughs> of course. I'd rather him not even spot me, so let's just run through here, but... Ah! Oh, dude, are we gonna really die here? I'm gonna fucking die here. That's... that's... Oh, come on! That's the one thing I really, really hate when you run into shit, like, straight up up front. Yeah. I'm gonna die here. That sucks so bad, dude. We were doing so fine. Um, let's see. Looking at my map here, there's nothing that I could run into for safety, I don't think. You can't outrun these wolves eventually. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god that campfire. That's the reason why you want these campfires. They are scared of fire, at least the campfires. The torch should have worked. I'm not sure why the torch didn't work. I think it's because I ran right into them, so it was kind of like, you know, go into combat mode with them already, right off the bat. But the camp, the torch is supposed to, like, work, like, you know, you just, you just swoosh it and it scares them. But, um, <laughs> it didn't work when I ran right into them, obviously. I'm surprised. I thought we were basically boned at that point. Um, okay. So now we have to follow the power lines. That's what we have to do. Are we at a time here? No, I think we have some more time to go. Actually, we're almost at a time. Uh, let me just collect a bit more mushrooms here. Um, speaking of which, how is our collection going along? Pretty good, I'm gonna say. Pretty good. Still the middle of the day. Power lines are gonna be over here. We have to follow those for whatever little thing's gonna be popping up for us here down the line. Herbs will be used to make our medical kits down the line as well, and that's about it. Now, I'm really quite hurt, though. Alrighty, so you know what? I'm gonna wrap it up here. I will come back next episode and do some more progress. What I'm gonna do here right now is probably collect... Um, probably cook something and do some more gathering of resources for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, do let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like and uh, we shall make this a series. But for now, maybe we'll do like one or two episodes. Kind of do a little feeler outer and see how you guys feel about this. Feeler outer to see how you guys feel about this. It works out fine. I will catch you next time.